See, you and me are not the same. I keep telling you jealous Negroes, you and I are different. And to the entertainers out there, I saw some of y'all throwing dirt on my name because my breakfast club interviews get millions of more views than yours and you are platinum selling rapper. You know why my breakfast club interview get millions more views than you, even though you done sold millions of albums. You know why? Why am I king of the breakfast club and I'm not a rapper? Why is Dr. Umar king of the breakfast club and I'm not a rapper? Why am I king of the breakfast club and I'm not an actor? I'm not a singer. I'm not a dancer. I'm not a comedian. Why am I king of power 105.1 and I am not an entertainer? It's the same reason why I'm the king of YouTube and I don't have a YouTube page. It's the same reason I'm the king of YouTube and I don't have a YouTube. It's the same reason I'm the king of TikTok. I'm the king of everything because I am the black messiah of black consciousness sent here by John Jock Dessalines, Nat Turner, George Jackson, black Jesus to finish the work. I didn't appreciate the way Skip Bayless emasculated brother Shannon. I have my issues with Shannon, but I didn't like it. And Shannon Sharp, if you listening to me, my brother, I'm not here to criticize today. I want you to leave that show. Skip cannot survive without you, Shannon. Skip cannot survive without you, Shannon. What is he going to do? Bring Ernest Steen up there to take your place? What is Skip Bayless going to bring Ernest Steen up there to replace Shannon Sharp? Ernest Steen can't do what Shannon do. Shannon is intelligent. Shannon is articulate. He researches well. He speaks very clearly. Skip Bayless cannot survive without Shannon Sharp. And after him telling Shannon to put his glasses back on while Shannon was angry, him telling Shannon to put his glasses back on while Shannon was angry was unacceptable. Skip should leave. Excuse me. Shannon should leave. Shannon can get his own show. You don't need that old racist. Tell him to bring Ernestine up there. Tell Skip to bring Ernestine up there to replace you, Shannon. But Shannon, you need to get your own show, my brother. That's from one brother to another. Go team up with Stephen A. Go somewhere else. But I want Shannon Sharp off of that show. I didn't appreciate that. That was an insult. And when you insult any black man, you insult all black men. When you insult any black man, you insult all black men. When you insult any black man, you insult all black men. Skip Bayless, you owe Shannon Sharp an apology on national TV. Skip Bayless, you earn Shannon Sharp an apology on national TV. Skip Bayless, you owe Shannon Sharp an apology on national TV. I don't care who was mad about what I said about Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones is a bigot and a racist. He was back in 1957 and he is right now. I don't give a damn about Dak Prescott, Michael Irvin or anybody else who want to defend that racist. Okay. Now, let me end with this Deion Sanders piece real quick. Let me end with this Deion Sanders piece real quick. Let me end with this Deion Sanders piece real quick. If you don't understand military science, you don't understand the Colorado State Deion Sanders situation. If you don't understand military science, you don't understand University of Colorado, Deion Sanders controversy. The University of Colorado controversy with Deion Sanders. The University of Colorado controversy with Deion Sanders can be explained real simply in military science. This was military science. Deion is at a HBCU. University of Colorado only has 1% black students. Deion Sanders, by being at Jackson State, was threatening the white power structure's monopoly on black athletes. Listen to me, military science. 
Milit I'm, I'm coming at you. This is why we teach in military science at FDMG. This is why we teach in military science at FDMG. This is hit the cash app dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the cash app dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the PayPal FDMG Academy. Hit the PayPal. The I believe that the white power structure of America got the University of Colorado to recruit Dion away from the HBCU. Listen, listen, this is bigger than football. This is bigger than football. This is bigger than football. Dion at Jackson State was a threat to the Division I basketball and football monopoly over the top black athletes. Dion was undermining the establishment. And because they knew he was in love with money, they said we got to stop this before it becomes a movement. Dion was one man, but it was about to become a movement. Dion was one man, but it was about to become one movement. Dion was one man, but it was about to become one movement. Dion was going to influence other ex-NFL NBA greats to do the same thing. It's only a matter of time before a re retired NBA player goes and coaches a HBCU basketball team. They couldn't let that happen, y'all. The NBA could not. The Division I, they could not let an NBA great Go and coach in HBCU. They couldn't let more black NFL greats come and coach the HBCUs because they were undermining the monopoly that the white schools have on the black athletes. You're talking billions of dollars. So Deion Sanders allowed himself to be recruited away for money. And in doing that, Deion Sanders has just re-energized the black athlete's focus on going to a PWI. I think I can drop the mic right there. I think I could drop the mic right there. I think I could drop the mic right there. I said Deion Sanders has re-energized. He had black athletes looking at HBCUs. Deion Sanders had black athletes looking at HBCUs in mass for the first time in a long time. And now all that attention that HBCUs was getting with Dion is going right back to the his predominantly white college. All that attention that Dion was giving to HBCUs is going right back to the predominantly white institution. And that's why I love my brother. I respect my brother, Deion Sanders. But that's why his move must be interpreted from a military perspective as treason and betrayal. It might have been better if he never went to Jackson State at all now. It might have been better if he never went to Jackson State at all now, because the message that Deion Sanders abandoning Jackson State for a 99 percent white campus, the message in Deion Sanders abandoning Jackson State for a 99 percent black campus, the message to black athletes is the white schools are still better. Not only are they better to play at, they're better to coach at. And I heard Dion took some HBCU coaches with him to Colorado. And I heard he took some players from Jackson State to Colorado. So if that's not betrayal, not only did you leave, you took players with you. And then you went to other HBCUs and stole coaches away for a white college in Colorado that has never done nothing for black people. And now they're going to use Deion Sanders, black talent. They're going to use Deion Sanders, black skin. They're going to use Deion Sanders to make hundreds of millions of dollars. And when they're done sucking Deion dry, when they're done sucking Deion dry, 
They're going to drop his ass off. 